Hello Business Platform viewers, this video is all about the Tesla application which has been proven that its features and solution set addresses real world questions. The app itself is accessible through the Tornado Bismuth wallet. This particular wallet allows users to extend functionalities by enabling add-ons which are called crystals in the world of Bismuth. Before I walk you through the Tesla app, I would like to talk more about how it works, its purpose and why it is needed. What are the benefits of recording electric vehicle data? When buying or selling an EV, you want to make sure that the car's battery is in a good shape. This heavily depends on the number of charging cycles and the depth of discharge. Experience has shown that the depth of discharge influences the number of available charging cycles in a significant way. That concludes that charging behavior has an effect on the condition of the battery. And if charging behavior is recorded, you do have a way of showing the car's history data, including the estimated remaining battery lifetime. Now, the EV owner can prove that the battery was treated with care, depending on the depth of discharge at each cycle. But doesn't Tesla supply the data already? Well, Tesla actually removes the data history. Tesla only allows owners to inspect vehicle data for a limited time period. In theory, third-party companies could also record the EV data. But then you have to either expose your Tesla login credentials or give an API token to these services. That approach has risks involved. Third-party services could potentially take control over your car and not just read data. There is no guarantee that a third-party service will continue to exist over a lifetime of a car. Why use a public blockchain for data submission and not, for example, a centralized database? Public blockchains are made to last a long time, as long as there's an economic incentive to keep them running. A blockchain solution should meet the following conditions. 1. Many participants need to be able to submit data. In the car example, in the time span of a car, it will usually have many owners during that time. Each owner could provide data about the car. Two. There is no trust needed between the participants. 3. The submitted data to the blockchain does not need to be private. 4. The database needs to be resistant to attacks or censorship, which is a core feature of a blockchain. What electric vehicle data is being recorded? In this list you can see a range of battery-related data being recorded and other important information like, for example, the odometer. Let's get to the fun part, the Tesla app. In this slide, we see a list of steps to successfully store battery data on the Bismuth blockchain. First, we need to activate the Tesla crystal within the Tornado Bismuth wallet. Two, connect to Tesla with your login credentials and fetch the vehicle identification number. Three, register your VIN on the Bismuth blockchain by sending the required transaction. Four, fetch your electric vehicle data. And the last step, submit the electric vehicle data to the blockchain. Note that there are minimal blockchain transaction fees involved. When an electric vehicle changes ownership, you also want to transfer the digital asset to the new owner so he can continue adding vehicle related data to the blockchain. This process requires the Tornado Bismuth wallet. First, the previous owner would need to cancel the vehicle identification number on the blockchain. Then the new owner would need to register the same VIN on the blockchain using the same password as the previous owner. Note that if a different password is used, then the asset ID will be different and a new data set will be started from scratch. There's another important information you should be aware of. Only data for this asset ID submitted from the Bismuth account which registered the VIN will be visible on the public website and in the plotting and analytics section of the app. The public website is ev.batterylife.info. Let's check out the Tesla app. The Tesla crystal needs to be activated within the Tornado Bismuth wallet. Therefore, we will open up the Bismuth Foundation repository at GitHub and download the wallet. You can see we are already here at the GitHub location. And um, this is here the main repository, Bismuth Foundation. And 
then you select a tornado wallet here you select the latest uh, the latest release it's available for uh, Linux Windows and Mac OS Intel CPU um, okay that's what we did we downloaded it we already um, installed the tornado business wallet and um, after you have successfully installed the wallet you will need to select a bismuth address and then send some bismuth to that selected address of course here on the top right you see I clicked on that icon here now I'm going to click the address and once you see the address here on top that means you have already selected an address then on the left sidebar you click on the crystals link in the main window uh, you make sure that the Tesla crystal, crystal is selected and activated. Now we are going to scroll down and you see it's activated, selected because I already installed it. And then here on the left, um, you see that it's activated. <clears throat> um, that means that I can already click on the Tesla button within the sidebar. All right. Now on the very top, you see, uh, like I showed you before, you see that my selected bismuth address is active right here which is being used for sending the data to the blockchain okay the about section here is the about section uh, it reveals the app's version number we have the version 103 at the moment um, right beneath is the github link the official um, link to the open source code and then you see the blog post it's also the official blog post about the app and the website where you can view the um, battery data all right this was all so far everything about the about section on the right you see the menu um, section which lets you analyze existing data uh, we can click on it right now and you see there's nothing but if we just click on search and don't put any data into the search field uh, it will show you existing um, battery data and if I choose here one then click on battery level percentage show plot and we also want to show the table in yeah, some random data and here <clears throat> you see that we have chosen the start date, the end date, then uh, this is here the ID. And here on top you see, you can also um, choose a shorter time period because you need a big screen to uh, see all that data in a um, good view because here it's, everything looks a little squished and uh, you see here the battery level if you hover over the points you see the battery level here at seven percent were probably almost the lowest and then the highest was at 94 percent so you have a pretty good view about all the the information you see the full cycle equivalent i think that's yeah one year with uh, from the first uh, 2022 to the 29th october of 2022 um, we have we have a full cycle equivalent of 22.7 cycles that's just a demo of existing data okay now if we go back to the um, different options um, the fetch vehicle data button lets you fetch data and also lets you submit the data to the Bismuth blockchain if you have already registered your VIN on the blockchain. We are going to click on it anyway, even though I have not registered one yet. And on the left you see that you can enter your um, credentials, then fetch the data, then it will be shown here on the right side and then you submit the transaction. But uh, before you do that, you would have, you would need to register your VIN on the blockchain and where do you do it on um, this button here register your tesla vehicle on the blockchain you click here also um, you submit your login credentials 
fetch the VIN number and then you will be able to register your Tesla vehicle on the, on the Bismuth blockchain. In this summary, we will mention the Tesla app key points to remember. Privacy is important. That is the reason why the Tesla login credentials will never be exposed to anyone. The app runs on your local computer. All code involved is open source. Anyone can verify the code on GitHub. The code is safe to use and there is no malicious intent. The owner can decide if he wants to publish the VIN openly or encrypt it with a password. Once the EV is sold, the password can be revealed to the new owner, who then can verify that the submitted data belongs to the vehicle's VIN. When a sale transfer applies, the previous owner transfers the virtual asset to the new owner by cancelling the VIN and letting the new owner register the same VIN. Fees are necessary to discourage spam and fake data. Fake data would likely be detected. Once EV owners start submitting data to the blockchain, anyone can view and analyze the data. There is a public website available where you can already check submitted data. If you haven't subscribed already to the Business Platform channel, please subscribe and if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.